In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. You're falling far behind! Catch up to us! I'm trying! Slow down! Slow down? Never! Why a knight always rides his fastest, fights his hardest, and gives his greatest for God's glory! Ooh, I think I gave all I have. Nonsense! Uh. Young squire, Squire Gus has been transferred to the King's Navy, so you are my new student. On your feet, squire, you're out of shape. Squire, uh, uh, squire, what is your name? Uh, squire McIntyre. Squire McIntyre. Yes. I suppose you hail from the Shire. Yes, I, I'm on fire. Why Ooh. do I inquire? Very well, Squire McIntyre. Yes. I am twice your age and in tip-top oh. condition. In order to be a knight, you must be in the best shape. You must be like me, a very model of knighthood. Brave and strong, bold and true, and oh, still so full of pride. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. So praise the Lord. Yes. I have been working out every day, you know, climbing the castle steps, swimming the moat, even practicing my sword play. Oh, no. Why must they always drop their swords? Well, I have also been working out with that sweating through the Middle Ages DVD you gave ah, me. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, but becoming a knight is really hard work. Well, of course becoming a knight is hard work. If it was easy, everyone would do it. A knight must be poised to spring into action at any moment, just like the disciples. Ah, so the men who followed Jesus were men of action? Oh, the men and women of action, yes. Here, let me get out the word of God and I shall show you. Ah, here we are, Squire McIntyre. Ah, <laughs> please, call me Mac. Very well, Squire Mac. Do you remember what they did with Jesus' body after he had died? Ah, yes. His followers wrapped him in white linen cloths and placed him in a tomb. Very good, young Squire. But, children, did they leave that tomb wide open? That's right. They rolled a very large, heavy stone in front of the tomb. True. And Pontius Pilate even put many guards in front of the stone so that no one could move it. But three days later, Mary Magdalene went to visit the tomb and the stone had been rolled away. What did Mary Magdalene do? She ran, she ran like the wind to go and find Peter and John. Oh my goodness, do you think she ran fast? What's that? <gasps> Do you think she ran fast? Oh, yes. I think she ran like Lightning McQueen. She was so upset that she wanted to tell somebody she thought someone had taken her lord away. What did Peter and John do? Peter and John ran oh. to the tomb. Oh, no. Yes. Well, more running. All this running. You think they get tired after a while? No, no. They had to find out what happened to their king. Uh, it's like a relay race. Yes. And finally, John ran ahead of Peter and got to the tomb first. Go, John. Yes. Now, when John got there, what do you think he saw? He saw the white linen cloth that was laid there. Yes. That's correct. Yes. Ah, and he knew. He knew that Jesus had risen from the dead. Oh! Of course. Yes, John stood at the door and looked inside. But when Peter arrived, he went inside. And then the Bible says, finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. Of course. John believed because he'd seen the empty tomb. Mm, yes. I wish I could have seen that. Oh, but we have something even better. We can see Jesus. But he rose again and went up to his throne in heaven. How can we see him if he's not here? Who says he's not here? <gasps> is that a trick question? No, King Jesus is here. He lives in the hearts of all believers like you and me every day. That's true, but you still can't see him. Oh, but you can. You can see him in the Bible. 
You can see him in the testimonies and reports of followers like Peter and John and Matthew, Mark. And Mary Magdalene. And Mary as well, yes. And so many others. And you can see him in the miracles he has done. And in the miracles he continues to do. True that, yes. And you can see his fingerprints in everything he created. And you can see him in the acts of kindness that we do for one another every day. <laughs> oh, wow, no wonder the disciples and Mary ran so fast. Yes. They wanted to see Jesus in all things. And they believed that he had risen even though they hadn't seen him in the tomb? They believed that he had risen because they hadn't seen him in the tomb. <gasps> And through faith, we believe in him, even mm. though we have not seen him with our own eyes. Ah, but one day you will. I will? I will see Jesus. Oh, yes, yes, of course. How do all you know? of us, all of us who follow him will. You see, the Bible promises it. Remember the song that we just sang? I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand upon the earth and I will see God with my own eyes. I will see God. Wow, kids, we are going to see God. Now, yeah. I'm as excited as the disciples were to serve the king. Oh, we all are. Let's all say our kingdom code together. Serving, Serving the, the king, king is the noblest thing. <laughs> so long, kids. Keep serving the risen king! Tally-ho! Tally-ho!